Good afternoon, everyone. I wonder if we'll, we'll bring our panel right up, shall we? Because uh, there's somebody right at the front of this group here who uh, today we can say is MVP. John, come on. Well, how wonderful uh, it is to see everybody here today. Uh, welcome to the Valkyrie Club at Geodis Park. I'm Tony Husband from Nashville SC. Uh, we are here again at the country's largest soccer-specific stadium. Uh, we've had some momentous days in this venue already in year one, 2022. Uh, today, another one, as we recognize individual achievement on a most valuable scale with the presentation of the Landon Donovan Most Valuable Player Award for season 27 of Major League Soccer. Uh, I will introduce our distinguished panel here on the stage in just a moment, but uh, first of all, thank you to everybody who's joining us here in the room and from further afield. Uh, in the room here at the Valkyrie Club today, we have uh, members of Nashville SC's first team staff and players. We have front office executives and staff from the club as well. I'm sure they want to give themselves a cheer. There. It's a big welcome, of course, to our select corporate partners who join us for this momentous day. So thank you very much to our partners for, for being with us. Uh, we also have members of the local and the national media joining us, uh, both in the room and also on Zoom. Uh, the game is nothing without the fans, of course. And we learned that these last couple of years, and we're delighted to welcome season ticket members and leadership from the club supporters group, the Backline Collective. I know you're going to cheer. Where are you, Backline? Yeah. And of course, up on the stage here today with us, we're delighted to have Nashville SC principal owner, John Ingram. And we have the MLS President and Deputy Commissioner, Mark Abbott. Mark, we should say at this point, welcome to Music City, and thank you for your attendance here. But I think for today, at least, we may well just rename this place Mukhtar City. Uh, the third member of the panel, we couldn't do this without you. I really mean that. Um, <laughs> Hani Mukhtar, ladies and gentlemen. So in a moment, we're going to start the formal proceedings, and afterwards, we'll have a question and answer uh, here on the stage. There are also going to be photo opportunities here and down by the field where it is a, another glorious Middle Tennessee day. Uh, first of all, though, I'd like to welcome the Nashville SE principal owner, John Ingram, to the microphone. Thank, thank you, Tony, and um, it's, uh, like Tony said, a great pleasure to have all of you here at uh, Geodis Park, our home. You know, when I think back to 2017, when we were really getting started with this, um, you know, the, the thought of having a beautiful home was, was, was a thought at that time, but, uh, and, and to have a place where, where we did important things, both on the pitch and at moments like this, it was um, it was a dream, and 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 it's so exciting to have the dream come true. And 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 yes, we're here to talk about Hani, but I take just a moment to also congratulate the rest of the team and <clears throat> for what we've um, what we've done. I mean, three years in existence, three years in the playoff. <clears throat> it's a very small group of, of 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 other teams that have accomplished that. And yes, our aspirations are higher than that, but but that shouldn't take away from from what has been accomplished. And, you know, we're, we're, we're here to celebrate Hani, and, and again, we'll get to that um, in, in a second with all, all that he's, he's done this year. But I, uh, I, I also uh, think it's appropriate, a, a shout out to our scouting department, and maybe even to our general manager, Mike Jacobs, because they found him and signed him. Uh, and, and so, very excited about that. And, and Hani, I, as I, as I think about this moment, and you as a 23, 24-year-old guy, you know, very kind of comfortably established in, a, in an established European league and, and thinking about coming to somewhere you'd never really been before, um, to, to a league that was up and coming, but, but, uh, and a, 
and a place, you know, a city you'd never been to, an expansion team. I mean, that took, took some guts. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and now three years later, um, a lot of hard work and, and whatnot, and you're the MVP. And, and I would just, I, I think it's a statement about what's possible at this team. It's what's possible in this city, and it's what's possible in this league. Um, so any of you prospects that are thinking about uh, MLS out there, you ought to think about it. Uh, good things can happen to you here. Um, that's what I'm going to say for right now, and, and it's, uh, it's a great pleasure for me to uh, uh, turn, turn the podium over to, to our president, uh, the MLS president and, and deputy commissioner, Mac, Mark Abbott, to, to talk a little bit more about what Hani has, has achieved. Mark. Thank you, John, and thanks everyone for uh, joining us today. As I was flying down, I, I flew down from New York this morning, and I was just coming down. It was an opportunity to reflect on everything that's happened here with soccer and Major League Soccer in Nashville over the last six years. I've, I first met John sometime in the summer of 2016, and it was immediately apparent his passion for this city and his vision for what Major League Soccer could be, and he pursued it uh, with a lot of energy. Uh, and uh, was of that round the first team that we selected in 2017 to be the next Major League Soccer team, and the vision that he had for this uh, beautiful stadium was a big part of our decision-making um, process. And when I think about what this team means in this community, how it both has connected and reflects this community. I think the stadium, the thought that's gone into uh, every aspect of it and how it is truly a Nashville stadium uh, to the uh, incredible rituals that they have uh, here before each game and then the fan base. I got to see that firsthand when we came here uh, for the opening match of this stadium uh, earlier this year and you couldn't help but be awed uh, by the enthusiasm of the fans here and, uh, and particularly, it is a team that's given us uh, Soccer Moses, and we will always be thankful uh, for that. <laughs> it's also been a team uh, that has been successful on the field, as John said, you know, has made the playoffs in each of its three years of its existence, and that's quite an accomplishment in a league that's as competitive as ours. And a big part of that uh, success has been our honoree today, Hani Mukhtar, and what he has been able to achieve and I think many of you are familiar with some of the statistics. Uh, just last month, he was awarded the Golden Boot uh, presented by Audi Award uh, for scoring the most, most goals in the 2022 season. But I think what's even more impressive is that he has the most goals over the last two years, uh, 39 goals, which is the most of anybody in Major League Soccer over those last two years. And probably even more impressive is the fact that when you combine goals and ex ex uh, assists, he has the most by 16 over the last two years. But I really think the statistic that, that uh, stands out and that talks about why he truly is the most valuable player in Major League Soccer is that when you combine the goals and the statistics uh, and the assists in uh, 2022, he contributed over 65% of the uh, scoring, scoring goals uh, this year for this team. And that's an amazing accomplishment, an amazing contribution. But it's not just about statistics. Uh, Hani is someone that you all know cares deeply about this community, cares about being connected uh, with this community, and I think is one of those players who inspires both his teammates and the fans. And it's for those reasons that it's my honor now to be able to award the 2022 Landon Donovan Most Valuable Player Trophy to Hani Mukhtar. Hani. <laughs> Hello guys, um, thank you first of all for coming. Um, it's a huge moment for, for me and my family. Um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna thank um, my parents, my brother. They, they supported me their whole life and um, sacrificed for me um, their life and um, that I can live my dream and that, it, that I can follow also my dream. And um, it's, a, it's a great moment. I feel amazing and um, I'm super proud and I just wanted to thank first of all my, my family and of course my fiance which I met here in uh, Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> 
I know it's a it's an individual award, and um, but I know that I couldn't do it without my team. Um, I learned throughout my career a lot of things, and one thing is that if you you're an individual player and you are a good individual player, but you are only as good as your team is. And um, we have I played with amazing players together, which couldn't show it on the pitch, which shouldn't co it, show it on game days, and I. I have the pleasure to play with amazing teammates, with amazing guys together, that, and they make me shine. And that's why I wanted to thank them to always support me, to have my back. And I'm looking very forward to, to making history here and um, also to winning silverware for the city. And of course, the coaching stuff. Um, we have a great coaching staff. Our coaches are pushing us hard every training session. And one coach I want to mention particularly, um, it's Steve Guppy. He put the work, put the hours in for me and um, make me a better player. And he, he did so much the last three years. Actually, a funny story was the first time I met him was at the dinner in Tampa and our training camp. And he said, can I have a minute with you? And he said, yeah, let's have a video analyze, or I, I want to show you a video about your, your current, uh, your clubs before. So he showed me a video over like three, four minutes with all the situations I had, and it actually were good moments, and he asked me, what do you think? And I said, okay, yeah, they're good moments. I beat a player, and he said, yeah, but you beat a player in the middle of the field. You need to beat a player in the last third of the field where you get in scoring situation, where you can beat a player and score goals. And he took so much work into it, and I just wanted to say thank you. He changed the view, how I have to play, how I see, how I view football, and um, yeah, big thanks to him. Then, of course, to our owner, without him, it wouldn't be possible. Um, what he does for the city is amazing. Um, three years ago, when I came, um, not many people knew about soccer here in the city, and not many people recognized me. And now, this day, a lot of people know me now in the city, and soccer grew so much, and that's a big thanks and big part of our owner, John Ingram. And then, like John mentioned, um, the guy who brought me here, Mike Jacobs, um, yeah, he was, he was actually the first guy I talked to here in the club. And um, it, was, it was a very, very special situation because, like we all know, they didn't have mu many players. And normally when a team comes to you, you can look at their way of playing. Um, do I fit in the system and everything? And Mike Jacobs said one very powerful thing to me, and um, that really impressed me. He said, hey, I want to build a team around you. And with that being said, that's not, that's not what you hear as a player a lot of times. And that really made me think, okay, if he really, or the club, the, the ownership, and everyone believes in me to build a team around me, that's the place where I have to go. And that made my decision to come here to Nashville SC. Yeah, and um, like everyone know, uh, I signed here 2020 during COVID. Um, it was very, very difficult for, for everyone and um, also for me. My fa family is from Germany, from Berlin, and they couldn't visit me. No one of my friends could, couldn't visit me. And the city of Nashville, the people here, um, became my friends, became part of my life. And um, that's why the Nashville SC, the community, they're the really MVP. And I want to say big thanks to all of you. Yeah, like I mentioned, um, it wasn't an easy start for me here in Nashville. During 2020, it was a very 
special, special year for everyone and of course also for our league. And, um, but the club and everyone helped me so much to, to, to develop and to adapt also in a different continent and a different city. Um, and that's why I'm really, really grateful to everyone here in this organization. I know I haven't mentioned everyone but I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys. And it's actually a, a, really, a really good thing for me personal because I feel like the Major League Soccer and me with the MVP, it's, it's such a big honor because they have so many big talents and so many big players in this league. And for me to win, this award means the world. Um, I started when I was six, seven years old uh, playing club soccer. And that's, my dream was, of course, I was seven years old and I always said to my parents, hey, I just want to become a professional soccer player. And with that being said, it was so, it was so, for my parents, they couldn't believe like, hey, this is, this is so hard to be, to, to be a professional soccer player. And, um, then I got the offer from Hertha, which is one of the best clubs in, for youth soccer in Germany. And I went, they, they get me the offer to, to train with them and going through all these youth teams. Um, and yeah, with all that, it's just that my whole, my whole life I sacrificed for, for being a professional soccer player. And with winning that award, it's just that a dream comes true for me. And that's, that's, a, that's a special moment for me and my family. And um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> but also I know that um, you know, not, not every kid is, is um, yeah, have the ability and have the chance to, to really start like me in an academy right away like here in Nashville SC, and, um, and back then for me was it Hertha BSC Berlin, the, the youth team. So I wanna give something back to the, to the community and to, to the people here in Nashville, that's, that's very important. Um, I started, like a lot of people from you guys know that my own soccer academy, um, we, will, we will have a camp over Thanksgiving and we wanna give access to a lot of people in Nashville and that's that's for me that's for me one thing it's I want to I want to bring more people more people here in Nashville to soccer and give them the opportunity to to train with me to train with coaches I trust and just just bring closer not only to talented people because I was one of the talented um, people in my age in Berlin but I have a bit older brother he wasn't that talented and I think it's important <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's, it, it sounds funny, but it's really not funny because, <laughs> because I want to, I want to create something where a lot of, you know, a lot of people have the access to, to a great training facility to, to have great training. And, um, that's why I want to give something back to the community and we will, we will do a lot of scholarships for unfortunate kids for the community and, um, hopefully it will help the city and um, that's my little thing I can do to give something back to the people. Thank you. Very well said, Hanny. And don't forget, of course, it was with your brother that you did come up with your trademark Salute, wasn't it? And it? Very true. So we should not forget that. We should not, not forget that at all. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much to uh, all three of our speakers. And congratulations again to Hanny. A golden boot next to the Landon Donovan MLS MVP award as well for him. So we're now going to transition into our Q&A. So if you have questions from the floor, uh, Christina is going to lead that for us. And if you are watching us via Zoom, um, please uh, let us know in the chat uh, if you have a question uh, for the panel and for Hani in particular. So, uh, Christina, it's over to you. Uh, 
Yes, uh, sorry. Uh, please, uh, when you're asking a question, make sure that uh, you introduce yourself with name and outlet, and then that you direct the question specifically to one of our uh, panelists today. Uh, with that, Drake, go ahead. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, Drake Hills from the Tennessean, uh, local newspaper here. Hani, congratulations on winning the MVP. Just wanted to ask you just about that, the historical part of it, um, not just for Major League Soccer, for Nashville SC, but the city of Nashville um, and all the sports that are here. Um, you are the MVP of, of that city that's historic in that right. So what does that mean to you, um, basically elevating not just uh, your, prof your profile as a player, but in the team, in the league, and in the sport entirely in Nashville? Yeah, it means, it means the world for me. Um, like I also said, this, it's an amazing league. Um, a kid from Germany comes to Nashville with like 24 years old, you know, and uh, win three years later, the MVP. And that shows a lot about this league, that you can get better and that you can make the next step in your career. And um, it means so much for me. Claudio, go ahead. Thank you. Honey, when you look at the, uh, that first year, uh, I'm playing here in Nashville with the COVID and everything else that happened. Uh, what is that thing that you might have pinpointed besides what the coach got to tell you all that, at that time that you could say, well, this is what changed so much for me to become the most valuable player today? Yeah, I think um, it's, it comes together with a lot of things. Um, I think how I adapt to the city, how the city helped me, how the organization helped me, um, that I changed part of my game um, that all that all leads together to to the success today. Chris Harris. Chris Harris, WSMV. Congrats, honey. I'm just curious. When you first came over here, you talked about just leaving your home and coming to an unknown place. Did you have a goal in mind that I'm going to be an MPP of this league someday? Um. I didn't have that goal because we don't have that in Germany, actually, <laughs> that award. Um, and I, yeah, but obviously I, I came here and one of the first thing I said, um, I'm not coming to the league to having a good, great life in the United States. For a kid from Germany, from Berlin, when you say, yeah, I'm going to the United States, that's something huge. Um, it's, it's, it's very far away from, from Germany. So for me it was, okay, I'm going over there. And I want to I wanna do great. I want to do something great. And um, I think that, that fits perfectly with the, with the goals of the club. You know, we want to we wanna win at one point silverware. And that's, that's why I re-signed here in Nashville. And um, I think we, we have to work hard. And I'm, as a player in general, I, I work always hard and try to, try to get better. Hey, honey, Corey Curtis from WKRN News 2. Uh, congratulations. Um, Nashville is a relatively new city on the professional sports landscape. You join now Steve McNair as the only professional MVPs in the city's history. Can you just talk about the his historical significance of being aligned with a guy uh, of that stature in this city right now? Um, yeah, for me it's, it's, a, it's a huge honor and um, just to be named MVP, um, it's it's a great thing. Hey, uh, Ben Ben Wright with Broadway Sports. Um, honey, you, you were obviously really close to this award last year, um, and and we've seen how you've led MLS not just this year, but in combined goals and assists over the past two years. How important was it to come back after last year and to show that last year wasn't a one-off and to kind of win this award kind of on the back of sustained success over a longer period? Yeah, um, I think for me personally, it was it was a great year last year. And um, but I knew that I started like our coach said I started after ten games to play really good. And um, this year I knew that if I can play good from the beginning, um, you know I have a great chance to to win this award and to do good this year. Any other questions in the room? We are going to through the, uh, transition to those on the Zoom. So if you have a question, please alert me through the, through the panel chat option um, that you have one. Uh, typically, Team Sullivan is on the line. So Team, if you have a question, please uh, send it to me momentarily.
No questions. So that will conclude today's uh, today's press conference. We are going to transition to uh, take photos. And uh, before I do that, I actually have one uh, final message from Mr. Ingram. Thank you, Christina. Um, we don't want to let um, today go without recognizing um, one other individual and. Not many of you would, would uh, necessarily know that, uh, that Mark Abbott is retiring at the end of this year. Um, and, and few would know that Mark was employee number one at MLS and, and spent a couple years like writing the plan for this. Um, about every nasty thing that has happened to the league has ended up on his desk to sort out. Um, but, but during that time, I mean, he has seen you know, he, he has seen the league start with a handful of teams, you know, near-death experience. Um, and, and now we're, you know, we'll, we'll have 29 teams this year. I think there have been 25, 26 stadiums that have built during, during your tenure. Um, so many corporate sponsorships. Um, and and without, without question, the, the, this, this new Apple deal that has us set up to, to really launch going forward. And, and it would just be a mistake not to not to take a moment and 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 really thank you for your contribution not just to MLS but to but to soccer in in, in North America and and I've got something for you and and um, the only other person I know in New York that has one of these is your boss um, um, and and that he got some time ago but I'm I'm going to grab it because I don't I in in case uh, the electric guitar becomes something that you decide that you might want to take up. In, in retirement, I want you to have something to play. So hang on. Yeah. Mark, this would be your own Les Paul uh, uh, guitar painted in Nashville SC colors. And your boss doesn't have one that's signed by the MVP, uh, Hani Mukhtar. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Mark, and seriously, thank you for your contribution to this league over these years. People, you just wouldn't, you just wouldn't know all that he's done. Thank you. There we go, Mark. Taking things away as well as bringing things with you here today. Eh? Uh, right, that concludes uh, this part of the process. Right now, what we're going to do is just move to uh, photographs, first of all, on the stage with our winner. Uh, so uh, if the photographers would like to be ready for that. And then if you listen and follow the lead of Matt Bodiford from Nashville SC uh, Communications, uh, we will take you down to the field where we will do some more photographs and things there. But uh, that concludes uh, the speaking from the stage, and I'm sure you'll join me once again, in saying a huge congratulations to the 2022 Landon Donovan MLS MVP, Hanny Mukhtar. <laughs>